It's the regional record extending 505th episode of the King of the Road Show HD on Fox 4 KBTV and the CW. And we are celebrating this magnificent milestone with part four of our sensational Sideman series, Southeast, Southeast Texas, Texas Style. Style. We'll continue featuring fantastic fiddler David Varnardo of Port Arthur. We'll air the Southeast Texas debut of Dave and Whitney's new music video, brought to you by King's Country. And Curse and the Cure will be back in the, in Royal, the Royal Spotlight, Spotlight from Pine Tree Lodge, sponsored by Pine Tree Lodge and LaBelle. King of the Road. Howdy, and thanks for watching the record 505th episode of the King of the Road Show HD. I'm Jim King of the Road. With this magnificent new milestone, we're extending our regional record for an independently produced local entertainment-based program. Of course, we wouldn't still be here if it wasn't for our splendid sponsors, all of the entertainers who have appeared in our episodes, and you, our royal viewers. We've got a jam-packed program today, so let's hit the road. Ride shotgun with me back to the Boudin Hut in Port Arthur, Texas. We always cruise Cadillac style, as seen on the Food Network's Log on and eat with Eden Grinchpan. Extra large and turbocharged. It's the King of the Road Show. Oh, hi. One man has the power to take you behind the scenes. Jim King of the Road. Jim King of the Road. We're returning to the Boudin Hut in Port Arthur, Texas for part four of our sensational Sideman series. The Boudin Hut is the first public place that David Varnardo played when he was just a teenager. David played with us here. Uh, you were about 14? Okay, 13, 14 years old. Of course, the previous episode was dedicated to the late Scott Lout. We don't smoke marijuana in Muskogee. We also recently lost the legendary Merle Haggard. We don't take a David Varnardo was one of the last people to visit with Merle before his health took a turn for the worse. That's a good old fiddle. 1721. That's wired up for electric. What do you want for that? $20? Oh, man. <laughs> and this was Rufus's clots he had. Another drink of wine and a politician wants a vote. I don't want much of nothing at all, but I will take another toast. I ain't asking nobody for nothing if I can't get it on my own. Folks, I want to introduce y'all to the guy that is responsible for me playing at the Boudin Hut. I think it was about 1984. I was about 13 or 14 years old. Put me in a band here at the Boudin Hut when it was on Gulfway in Maine. And now we're here on Gulfway Drive. And buddy, I want to thank you. You're welcome, man. For putting your neck out for me no, and just, believing in me. I, 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 I recognize the talent, as I told your daddy. I said, we got to get out of this garage. And then you made it. I hope you make it all the time. Well, we ain't going to give up. And I've never forgotten Buddy Oliver because you are the reason I got my experience with a country band. Well, and I'm here to tell you. I love you, man. Thank you, and I love you. Hey, you mean the world to me, you and your wife. Hey. 
This is my USO uh, jacket that I wore with Neil McCoy in 2008. I uh, flew from Nashville, Tennessee to, to Dulles, from Dulles on to Kuwait. And from Kuwait, we took a ride into uh, Iraq and got to perform for our troops for about a week. All she's got to do is just give it away. It's part four of our sensational Sideman series featuring David Varnardo. Still to come, we'll air the Southeast Texas debut of Dave and Whitney's new music video, brought to you by King's Country. And Curse and the Cure will be back in the, in Royal, the Royal Spotlight. Spotlight. From Pine Tree Lodge in LaBelle. But next, we'll air more of our David Varnardo exclusive. Man, how time flies when you're having a royal time. It's the record 505th episode of the King of the Road Show HD.